Hi. I'm sorry, I started vlogging while I was eating. And someone's pulling in next to me. Awkward. I'm crying right now. Da -da -da. Queen of the castle. <laughs> Guys, it has stickers and everything. I put knights around the castle. <laughs> what do you think? It's got scratchers. You like the scratchers and you love boxes, so this is the perfect present for you. Merry Christmas, you feel the animal. What do you got to say? Nothing. You just, you're just going to look at your box castle? Okay, Dang. typical. Typical cat move right here, guys. I make her a fucking castle out of a box. And she chooses the box that the fucking box castle came in. Good job, Keek. Way to play to your stereotype. Maybe you'll come over here. Hey. Hi. You want to go into the box castle? It's got scratchies. Are you the queen of the castle? There's knights guarding your castle. That's kind of awesome. Although you look like the big dragon. You're like toothless right now, taking over the Vikings show you what I got at Ulta today. Um, I never really go to Ulta until I have a 20% off coupon, and I did today, hence why there's so much stuff. So, I saw this on the way out, and I thought it would be a really cute thing to give away on Xparkage, because it has a bunch of benefit, like minis, and it was only $24. It has a lot of really nice stuff in it. So I got that. I got, from S Factor, I got the Smoothing uh, Lusterizer. And the Silky Smooth Moisture Serum, because they used it on my hair when they cut it, and they made it super straight. Because that's the problem I've been having with it since I got it cut, and I've washed it. Um, because it's so short, it's not, like, easy to straighten. So I'm kind of looking for things to straighten, because when it's frizzy, it looks like it's not healthy, and that is not what I'm going for. And I also got these, which are Extreme Straight Shampoo and Conditioner. Thought I'd try those out. Um... I got this macadamia oil treatment, and I think I, that'll be nice to add into any masks I do. You playing with those feathers that you knocked over? What are you doing? You just hanging out here for the ride? Um, and then I got this uh, from Redkin. It's called Real Control Overnight Treatment. So it's a leave-in um, overnight, obviously, treatment for dry damaged hair, and I just hit my camera. I got another Dermablend. Um, Smooth Indulgence Concealer. This is a nude. This is my favorite concealer ever, and I'm running out of my other ones, so I thought this would be a good time to get a new one. I got Sebastian Potion Number 9, which I've heard really good things about. I got a new It's a 10 Leave-In Conditioner. This is for blonde, so it helps to tone. Um, I didn't know they had this, so I was excited to try it. And then I got a super fine tooth comb to help with straightening my hair, but because my hair is so short, it's hard to like grab it with my hands the small amount that I need. So um, hopefully this will help because that's how they did it when she got my hair yesterday. So that's all I got from Ulta. Hi, so I am at, oh, I might have to lights turn off. I'm at the movies right now. We're getting ready to go see Warm Bodies. And um, I'm really excited. Like I said, this movie doesn't come out for two months. I'm really excited because I just read the book. So I will update you guys once I get back. Hi, so I'm really pissed off right now <laughs> because I just saw Warm Bodies and it was so good. Um, and I forgot to vlog after because we went to California Pete's Kitchen and it was really fun. Um, and I didn't vlog it, but uh, it, the, the movie was so good. It was really, really good. They really incorporated the book into the movie. They transformed it, I guess, really well. Um, I was a little bit worried. There were a few parts um, that were different from the book. Um, there, there are a few things, you know, that I, I was like, wait a minute, that's not what happened. But obviously, I know that, you know, a movie can't completely transpire, or a book can't be completely transpired into a movie, like, fully. So it's expected that everything's not going to be in, that you want to be in it. But overall, I really enjoyed it. It was really funny and really witty. And I totally recommend that you all see it in February when it comes out. They really nailed it. Um, and just for the record, this is movie, I've seen a lot of people saying it's the new Twilight for two reasons. One because it um, is made by Summit, and two, because it has a review by Stephanie Meyer on the book. This mo I, I didn't think about Twilight once in it. The only thing that it has in common is, you know, a supernatural character, I guess, if a zombie's a supernatural character falling in love, or a love story, I guess, about a human and a, and a supernatural character. 
or a other character, not human character. Um, but that's about where it ends. So it's really good. It's super, super funny and witty. Um, and I, I mean, I really enjoyed it. Nicholas Hall is so freaking cute. It's ridiculous. And um, so now I'm home. I'm going to start cleaning my house because it's a mess. There's cardboard everywhere. And um, I need to start cleaning it for my party on Saturday. And if I don't start now, I'll never get it done. And then I think I'm going to watch a holiday movie. I kind of want to watch Elf, but I kind of want to watch like a rom-com. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Bye!